Welcome to the MESE Learning Channel. The definition of a kilowatt hour will be covered in this video. Kilowatt hours, watts, kilowatts, and joules will all be discussed, along with how to convert between watts and kilowatts. At the conclusion, there will also be some worked examples showing how to calculate your kilowatt hour usage. How to figure out your monthly electricity payment is the final point. Now that you've probably seen, your power bills will show that you've been charged for a certain number of KWH that we use, and electrical goods are rated in W or KW when you buy them. The unit of measurement for your electricity bill is the KW or kilowatt hour. This represents the total amount of power that was required throughout time. Since power multiplied by time equals energy, let's quickly review what a kilowatt is before returning to kilowatt hours and making some calculations. This will simplify things considerably. You'll notice a value specified in W or KW, or watts or kilowatts, on the electrical goods you buy. This is the item's power requirement, which informs us of how much energy it will require on a daily basis to operate. As you can see, this light bulb is rated at 100 watts, but the air heater has a 2 kilowatt rating. Kilo, which stands for 1000, and watt, which is a unit of power, are both named for the engineer James Watt. A watt is precisely one joule every second, and a kilowatt hour is equivalent to 3.6 megajoules. What exactly is a joule? The amount of energy used to perform work is measured in joules. We ingest food that includes energy measured in calories or joules, which we use to heat and power our bodies. But in this instance, a joule is the quantity of energy lost as heat when a 1 amp electric current flows through a 1 ohm resistance for one second. Simply multiplying kilowatts by 1000 will change them into watts. The result of multiplying 1 kilowatt by 1000 is 1000 watts. By dividing by 1000, you can also convert watts to kilowatts. For example, 100 watts divided by 1000 equals 0.1 kilowatts. Now, we need to know how many kilowatt hours will be consumed. We are aware of the energy formula, which states that energy equals power times time. We also know that the electric heater has a 2 kilowatt rating and that it has a 4 hour runtime. Consequently, 2 kilowatts times 4 hours equal 8 kilowatt hours. What happens, though, if the heat only lasts 40 seconds? Although we are charged in kilowatt hours, we can still utilize the energy calculation. We only need to convert seconds to hours. There are therefore 60 minutes in a day and 60 seconds in an hour. The result of multiplying 60 by 60 is 3,600 seconds per hour. The runtime of 40 seconds can then be converted to hours by dividing it by 3,600. We will thus operate for 0.011 hours. 0.022 watt hours are obtained by multiplying 2 kilowatts by 0.0111 hours. What about smaller objects with watt ratings? If a 60 watt light bulb is on for 12 hours, we would still use the formula energy equals power times time, but we would need to convert watts to kilowatts because we are charged in kilowatt hours. As a result, 60 divided by 1000 is 0 0.06 kilowatts, and 0 0.06 kilowatts times the runtime of 12 hours 0.72 kilowatt hours. To get the price, we simply multiply the number of kilowatt hours used by the per kilowatt hour power tariff provided by our electricity provider. Consider the heater fan, which uses 2 kilowatts and runs for 4 hours. 8 kilowatt hours are produced by multiplying 2 kilowatts by 4 hours. Our electricity provider charges us 10 rupees per kilowatt hour. Therefore, multiplying 8 kilowatt hours by the 10 rupee rate per kilowatt hour results in a price of 80 rupees. How about figuring out how much electricity we use each month? For all the electrical components in the building, we must first make a table and then we must record their power. Don't forget to count the number of each item you have and check that each one is rated in kilowatts. After that, we must determine how many hours per month they will be switched on. From there, we can use the formula energy equals power multiplied by time to figure out how much electricity each device uses. Once you've completed this for each item, simply add up the values in the energy column to determine your total monthly kilowatt hour usage. 
Once you are aware of this, you can compute the price. Remember that there may be other charges shown on the supplier's invoice, such as taxes, etc. You can thus construct these in independently to fit your needs if you feel the need to include them. Okay, that concludes this video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it useful. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share.